Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. To kick off this video, we'll take a little look at the SpaceX fans website where you can see there's a launch in a couple of days. Previously delayed, we can expect the Turksat 5A satellite to lift off on Friday at 1.28am UTC or Thursday at 8.28pm EDT for the first launch of 2021. I thought I'd share an interesting tweet posted by Jonathan McDowell. He was tweeting about orbital debris and one of the tweets said that 4,900 tonnes belongs to governments. 2,000 tonnes belongs to companies of which apparently just 83 tonnes belongs to SpaceX. There is a new article on the Ars Technical website with some stuff that Gwyn Shotwell has said. A couple of things that I want to point out are, she says it was easier to sell flight proven to customers than it was to sell Falcons. Also, she said we have signed deals where we can pick whether it's a Falcon or a Starship. SpaceX launched the first Dragon 2 cargo variant in December on its resupply mission CRS-21. There's an article from NASA about the return. NASA are expected to stream the departure which should happen on January 11th with the capsule filled with 5,200 pounds of cargo. There's nothing to show in Boca Chica for this video, but there's a tweet from Dale Rutherford with a render of Starship and Shuttle next to each other. Musk responded to this and said, doesn't quite illustrate true size difference. Starship payload volume and mass are more than a thousand percent that of Shuttle. The remaining piece of the old Mark I Starship nose cone has been sliced in half to be scrapped. You can see two thrust pucks and the one behind was recently sleeved with its ring stack. Since then, a new upper bulkhead has been placed on the sleeving mount. This upper dome has now also received its ring stack. What looks to be a downcomer was also spotted outside. In terms of SN8, they were seen removing a nose cone flap. They also crushed the nose and are almost finished scrapping SN8's remains. With SN9, SpaceX did some testing on Monday with just a pressure test, I believe. Looking at the road and beach closures on the Cameron County website, we were expecting testing yesterday. However, that date was cancelled, but we should see some testing happen today. As well as those dates, we have information about the possibility of the flight very soon. Here you can see some temporary flight restrictions posted by the FAA for Brownsville Space Operations on Friday 8th, Saturday 9th and Sunday 10th. So, as early as later this week, we could see this beast leave the launch pad and fly to 12.5 kilometers. On the NASA Space Flight forums, there was a post from a Boca Chica resident and NSF photographer known as Nomad. He said, aiming for a Wednesday static fire and hoping for a Monday flight. So, today we should expect to see SN9 perform a static fire. As you will know from the last episode, SN10 has been fully stacked and is now being prepared for testing. Thought I'd throw this shot in here as well, what you can see are sections for Starships SN15, SN16 and SN17. To finish up the video, thanks to Brendan Lewis, here's an updated status for the builds of Starship and Super Heavy prototypes. As always, thanks to Mary or Boca Chica Gal who's out in Boca Chica constantly filming the awesome stuff going on. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team who work behind the scenes on the videos, live streams and other great content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.